Hey, Sneak Linux back in, back again. Today we've got Vector Linux 7 XFCE version, okay? I've not looked at Vector Linux for ages upon ages upon ages upon ages upon ages. Yeah, I mean, a long, long time. Must be a couple of years at least. And I thought, we're at version 7 now, I think it was at version 6 or even 5 last time I looked at it. I thought, we'll give it a go and see what's going down. Now, as you know, it's slacky based and it's quite nice. And it's really, really good for old hardware. And as you can see down here, we've got the old Cairo dockage. You see that bit of Cairo dockage down there? Remember I did it on Zubuntu not long ago, didn't I? When I before I upgraded my system. Rather nice. We've got Determiner. We've got Firefox as your standard web browser, yeah? So we'll open up the old Fox, see what goes down. Okay. Nice and quick, isn't it? Bearing in mind, it's not using hardly any system resources whatsoever. No, nothing at all. So we're going to pop over to the tube. Just slightly quickly, never the butchers. It comes up right. Oh, by the way, Flash is pre-installed as standard. By the way, you can, this is the freebie one. This is the standard version of Vector Linux 7, okay? Okay, I'm going to put me in. So here we go, just me in. Oh, I should have put an L in there, shouldn't I? Never mind. Silly, 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 silly me. Let's go and put an L back up. Go back to me, I swear. So we're not breaking any laws. We'll quickly pray, <coughs> play one of my videos. Well, I don't know why I'm sure ever go down. Sorry, no, no, not so. I said, go with Manjaro. <coughs> Which a couple of weeks ago. Very, very nice indeed. It goes super duper lovely jubbly. As you can see, plays rather nice and smooth, isn't it? I'll quickly get rid of that for you in a second. Bleeding adverts, don't you just hate them? Goodbye. Right, it plays three, um, plays 360 and 480, fine. When I went to play it in 720, it did stutter, but bearing in mind this is an old machine, so I ain't too bad too much. Now, I've updated the system, and this is Firefox 16.0.1. It's not actually gone to 17 yet. But hey, there's slightly little bit behind the normal and the old vector side, or slacky base side, shall I say. Anyway, I've installed Google Chrome. Yeah, I installed it. I'll show you how to do it. It's a quick link to vector, a quick link team. They've got specific programs in each section for you to download. So I've just quickly gone to the Play Store. As you can see, yeah, Hunkily of the Dory does what it says on the Google Chrome thing. You can get Chromium as well, by the way. But you get a calculator, Pigeon, don't forget Pigeon, but it's show you desktops, graphics. Okay, under graphics, there's three there. Gimpage, Inkscape, and Shotwell are all there for you to use. So that's Hunky of the Dory, nice. For Windows, there's my hum folder. Oh, yeah, I've got a folder that is hum, hum, hum. Should we open this folder? Yes. And there we are up there. As you can see, it's a full install. I've got 211 gigabytes of stuff left. Nicey, nicey, super duper. If you try it in VirtualBox and you install it in VirtualBox, you will find sometimes getting the right screen resolution can be a bit of a pain up the posterior. And that's probably why I've done it for a while, because it just didn't work for me on my screens that I've got. But hey, music player is exhale. We've got exhale in there, a bit of a exhale in. My logout button. Now, I'm not in Vancouver, as you well know. I don't actually talk like that. But I just haven't changed around the widgety thing from my um, where I live, basically. Oh, and there's my audio. Don't forget that. My USB microphone. Right, XFCE. It's the usual XFCE of 4. No, it's not 4.10, this one. I think it's 4.8. The usual menu. It's all here. It's all the usual that you would expect for Zubuntu. Zubuntu. XFCE. What am I talking about? I'm trying to think of other things at the same time. I'm trying to multitask. It's not working today. So you get Terminal Letter File Manager, Mail Reader, and Web Browser, as we've been through before. So that's hunkily of the door, isn't it, really? Not much more to tell you there. So things we've been to. Should we go there again? No, I don't really need to. But yeah, your Flash Player stuff there, your firewalls here. All the usual that you do. Oh, some QT stuff, because they like QT. There's an awful lot of QT in here. Take a screenshot, the root terminal, a Theosaurus is here. Through now for your file manager, as I'll just open it for you. X Archiver, and down the bottom there. VL or Victorless Quick Picks. More utilities. Now, each section has got a little Quick Picks, and there's little extra programs in it you may want to install. Under development, we've got CMake, as you can see there, and Genie's there, and Glades there, and we've got QT, 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 and QT Linguist. Under ex education, I've installed WX Maxima. It's for doing algebra in the day. It's just for doing algebra. I'll just quickly open it up. Generate a matrix. Yeah, that one I do. I'll just show you what it is, really. And that's my algebra thing, okay? You know what it means, really, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Okay, right, back to the menu. Back to the menu. Back. Under graphics. Gimp is there. Now I've updated the whole system. It's at 2.8. Shot well in Inkscape, of course. Exam for your scanning. Don't forget that's there. And Vector Linux Quick Picks. Now, once my little password. And there we go. Oh, we're all in. And I'll show you. Just give it a second. And basically, you can actually install any of these once. So, Blender 
2.5.6a's here. Now on my other machines, I'm using 2.62 or 2.63, so that's quite old, that one now. You've got Photox there as well, as you can see. GPS. Ooh, G Set up tools and brushes, it looks rather nice, isn't it? But also down the bottom there, you've got do knock off fract for fractal stuff as well. Don't forget all that. Go along. You can read all about it. As you can see, you just click the box and click OK. And it'll just start installing it for you. And that's all you have to do. There is also the G Slap package manager for other stuff as well. But you do get that little extra there. That's quite a nice little touch, I thought myself. Yes, I did. Because I'm like that. Right, and the internet, as I said, Google Chrome and Firefox here, and Opera, by the way. I've also installed Skype from the Victorlance Quick Picks. Works nice, out of the box, lovely jubbly. Wicked Wicked Jungle is massive, those two, and XChat and Chestnut Dialer. Yes, the dialer for old schooly dialy things. Oh, well, it's installed already. Okay, that's lovely, that's all done. I'm happy with that. Super the doodle. Mmm. Where was I? Oh, yeah, it was under the internet. Let's go to multimedia. Right, here we go. Brazira, Exhale, No Mem Player, Grip. Get a grip, man, get a grip. Yeah, that's there as well. And then play our game. Yeah, okay. Open shot I've installed. Pulse Audio Volume Control, or PAV, as some of you know it as. I've installed just so I can get the USB microphone working correctly because it didn't want to play ball with me, basically. So I just got that and all went hunky dory. Using the audio, audio mixer didn't work. Open shot is here. Lovely. It's a nice one. It is. It does lots of stuff. Okay. Multimedia. I'm running out of breath today. I a bit. Am I finished there? Do you think? Yeah, I could be good. Oh, QT record my desk. That was the other thing. It's not the GTK. It's QT because they like QT. I do. They really like QT. That's QT is all right. And Xen is there as well. Okay. And Office. Abbey Word is your baby here. Now it's not going to be two nine two. For a start, it's not bloody stable enough, is it? To be honest with you, it's going to be two eight six. So it will be hunkly dory with all your documents from the software. You know, from all the other places that people use. Okay. So that's alright, though, isn't it? Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. Office. Got Gene America is in there as well. And all right, all right. What is JPON? Anyway. And the system. All the usual you would expect, all your Cairo Doc stuff. Because we've got Cairo Doc here, aren't we? Right. And Firewall, that's down there, nicer. H Top, we're going to open up and let you have a look. Now, bearing in mind, I'm recording at the same time. Okay. I am recording at the same time. It's lovely. Only 187 megas RAM is fine. Normally, when you're not recording, it's not even using 1% of the CPU. That's how low it is. And that's why I rather like it. It's really, really nice. Really, really. I wish I'd come back to it a bit earlier, really. Yeah. Never mind. Anyway, where was we? System. Yeah, I forgot where I was then. Oh, I'm just going too much. Too much, too much. The G Slap package manager is here. Let me chop my password in quickly. And when we click OK. Believe. We'll just wait a couple of seconds for it to bump up. Remember, this is old hardware I'm using. Old hardware, and it's running super fine. Now, to up mark, uh, upgrade all your system, just mark all the updates and execute, and it will upgrade all the stuff. There was about 300 megabytes of stuff to download and packages to update, and it all done it without a hassle. It was really, really easily, simply thing to do. It really, really was, yeah. So, yeah, effective Linux. It's, it's really nice. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you what, we'll quickly go to their website. I don't know where the bloody thing come there. I'll have to type it in. Okay. Put in Victor, Victor Linux. Where's that film is that from? Victor, Victor. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyway, go straight to their web page. As you can see, it's been the same for quite a while, actually. Everything is here. Look, this is the one we're using, Victor Linux 7 standard. I want to try and show you something. If I go to support, will it be there? No, I forgot. Go to products. It should be under there somewhere. As you can see, it's a deluxe edition if you want it. We've got the standard edition, which is nice and nice. There's also a Zoho edition, or small office, home office. It's nice. If I go to there first. Oh, and a light edition, which is LXDE, by the way. And some live CD-ROMs or DVDs. So I'm going to go to read more. I'm just going to run on, which is near enough anything you should have available, really. As you can see, a Pentium 3 and only 128 megabytes of RAM at minimum, which is really good. So you've got a really hold machine. Hold, hold, hold. It will work nice. The kernel we're running is 3.0.8 on the machine, so that's nice, that's quite reasonably up to date, it's not super duper, but it does what it says on a tip. Anyway, what am I going to give it? Well, you know what, I really, really like it, especially for older machines, it's super up to duper. 85% Sneaky Linux out. I see you later, bye bye.